Good morning, Broomtail Country. I've got an excellent book review for you today. I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Here is the book. It's called The Wild Palomino by Stephen Holt, copyrighted in 1946. It documents a story of a young man looking for, you guessed it, a wild palomino. It takes place in Northern Alberta. And what happens, I'll give you a little rundown of the story, but this young man's dad is off to war and they're not making a decent income at their property on their spread, their ranch. And he thinks that if he were to go and find this wild Palomino stud, who is considered to be one of the best horses in Canada, who escaped from a Mexican ranchero, then he is going to be able to bring that stud back to his spread and then breed the stud with all of the mares, which will then bring in income for the spread. This is one of the most adventure-filled books that I think I've ever read. For example, I bet I could turn to any page and there's gonna be an adventure on that page. I bet you pretty much every single chapter within this book has some sort of wild Western adventure in it that people like you would love to read. Page 91. Okay, I'm going over, he said. One jerk, pay out, more rope. Two, pull up. He sat down on the edge and swung his legs over the bank. The rush of the river like a clear blue thread came clearly up to him, and he felt the soft upsweep of wind on the cliff. Okay, he tautened the line, and holding his breath, he swung into place. Down, 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 ten feet, fifteen. There was the nest, a round jumble of twigs on a point. It looked pretty small to Des. Then I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Back beside Rocket, Des handed the nest over to Jim Starr, who was just dismounting. Nuggets, he said, from your lost mine. Nuggets, Jim repeated mechanically, his hands searching unbelievingly among them. Then his voice sparkled, for Nina, for the ranch, and mother. That specific story, the boy manages to find a literal crow's nest full of golden nuggets. Where do you read that in books nowadays? You don't. So big credit to Stephen Holt back in 1946 for coming up with this pretty cool book. It's called The Wild Palomino. If you're into Western, Western reading, into Westerns at all, this book is for you. And more or less, you'd thoroughly enjoy it. This is Broomtail Country. Thank you for watching this video.